Welcome back, people, to another episode of Spooks with Two Idiots. We're back with with Stewie, guys. He's back. Say hi, Stewie. Hello. Let's go, guys. Okay, so first, I need to upload this video I recorded yesterday with my friend Flashton. Okay, that's gonna... Okay, so Stewie, the game I have planned for us today is something that is called... What the... Something that's called... Shut up. Um, oh my god, there's so many tabs open. Is it another one that's gonna talk to you? Hopefully not. <laughs> No one scared me a little bit. Okay, so... I got this one a while ago while I was waiting for you, Stabooey. Or actually, I don't know if I bought it yet, but here's what it's called. I don't know what it's about, but uh, I heard it's good. It's called Love Sam. Sounds pretty weird. It, sounds, it, it says it's apparently really creepy, so I thought we should try it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... What do you mean the price of this item has been changed? No, it's $10. How much, ha how much is it now? It's a billion dollars. Okay, uh... I think you should... Let's remove and add again, I think. Let's, uh, let's pause the record. Okay, guys, I finally got the game to work, and here we go, guys. Yeah. Alright, let's see if this is actually spooky or just kind of dumb. What if it's both? Well, then, big sa- <laughs> It's very stupid and very spooky. Ooh, photosensitivity warning. How sensitive are we talking? Oh no, new game. Ooh. Oh, oh, we're just into it. Is this 3D? Oh. What? Uh. Uh, okay, apparently my controller doesn't work for this, so we're gonna have to do this by mouse. Mouse? Yeah, we're gonna have to do this with my mouse. What's up? There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see how well this works. Let me turn my brightness a bit. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit laggy. Stu, you watching? Yes. Okay, let me close to my tab, see if it will improve the performance a bit. Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay. Uh, no, what's this? Ooh, yeah, I'm keeping that. My dirty little secrets. Move on. 
read on to move on. The hu last human sat on Earth was sitting. The last human on Earth was sitting alone in a room. There came a knock on the door. I've never cared for keeping a diary, but now it seems to be a good time to start keeping one. Why? Because after all these years, I can't, just can't forget about what used to be the light of my life. I know, over dramatic much? Knowing Brian Colmer as much as I did is bound to leave that big chunk of residue. Let's just say his diary is what's left of our relationship. Ooh. Three years. No. Three years have passed, and the world around me still is the same. Well, except for me. I look like a mummified corpse. What would be safe if he saw me again? B left Rosen Peak the moment he graduated high school to no. go to a fancy college with James. What? Uh, nothing. No, no, no. I thought no, I no, heard no. something. Oh, you heard something? Okay, now I'm actually. Now it's not. You make me paranoid, dude. Yeah. <laughs> can I. Oh, can it take it? Anyway. Okay. He left Frozen Peak the moment he graduated high school to go to, some fa that <coughs> to go to a fancy college of his dreams. Since then, I could only rely on my memories of him to keep on going. I wonder if it was the same for him, too. Would you love someone? When you love someone, his whole existence just gets etched into your brain. No matter how much B changes, I always know it's him. But will B do the same for me? I love B, but he was not the most likely person to remember stuff. It's been three years, so it's possible, and he did forget about me. Or am I giving him too little credit? So here comes the big question. Will he remember me? Yes or no? I don't know, dog. What? Uh, I can't write anything. Is there, like, a pencil? Oh, oh, there is. Okay. Uh, what do I put? Yes or no? So we're playing as a girl? I, 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 I think so. Will he remember you? I mean, if you love someone, they probably remember you, right? Just do it. Yeah. I think they would remember you, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who am I kicking? Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. We didn't have the most perfect relationship, but he wouldn't just dump his memory of me down the toilet or something. He's too much of a nice guy for that. And don't forget Q. Ooh. It's getting spicy up in here. Anyway, uh, I just hope our time together was meaningful enough to him. Enough to make him cherish even the darkest ones. Speaking of cherishable memories, I wonder what's happened to Joe Diner. Joe's Diner. It used to be the, my favorite place, naturally because it was B's favorite place to begin with. If there were two good things that were too good, if there were, oh my god, my brain hurts for a second. <clears throat> if there were two things that were too good for Rosen Peak, it would be Brian and Joe's Diner. Home of the best pancakes in the world, um, Brian Colmer. Five stars, Brian Colmer. Hmm, this isn't that scary so far. Things were so much easier back then. B would just go, hey. And I would be like, hi. Nothing just hanging out after that. N uh, with some occasional visit to Colton Hill. To Colton Hill. <laughs> we had such a good thing going. No. Will you remember my voice? Please say hey to me again. I'm trying to ruin a moment. Okay, I can't go on. What? 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 Oh. Okay. Hang up. No, 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 I don't like that. Do you should, uh, what did he say? He was just breathing. Uh, what kind of breathing? It was just like. <sighs> I just wanted to say hello every time I called him. 
Well, what I want to do and can do are two different things. Just enjoying B's presence on the other side of the phone was satisfying too, in a way. He was so he was so eager to know who was calling him in the middle of the night. Hey, hi. Ben? You heard that, right? Hello, oh, my imagination. Yeah, I don't think it was your imagination. That scared the crap out of me. <clears throat> ah. What else? Ah. What is this? August 21st, 2006. That is a debut outfit? I admire your confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high school years were probably over. First day of new school and the new girl in town got classified as undesirable by what seems to be the queen of Wayright Academy. I spent the last night telling myself, confidence, Sam, confidence. But she looks like, but it looks like I should have spent, have spent that time picking better clothes. I try not to te care too much about blending in, but these kids already look at me like I'm a candy handed out by strangers. The package seems fine, but you know there's something fishy in there. Judging from the whispers, I could figure out that they don't know Wayright even accepted transfers. It's been less than 24 hours since I moved to Rosen Peak, and I already enjoy sitting alone in my dorm room more than attempt more than attempt socializing with people who call me a city girl. Well, screw you two hillbillies. Besides, I decided not to force myself into making friends after how my old friends decided to turn on me. I just hope these guys leave me alone at least. Keeping a diary sure can help things together, keep things together in all the chaos. I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten, but this seems like a good time to restart. Kudos to mom for giving me the advice. Oh shoot, I almost forgot, calling her. Uh, write later diary, my only true friend. Love, Sam. Wait, okay, so are we playing as Sam? Uh, 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 I think so. I think we're playing as like some other chick. Maybe we're Sam, or I, I think we're Sam. Or maybe not Sam. But, I'd assume we're playing. Or maybe not. I'm confused. I didn't see what was that? I didn't see what this said before the window popped open. I wish I could sneak into people's minds, look beyond their eyes by just staring. If I had that power, I would never stop looking through the beast window. Oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, 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 Her Herbert. Herbert. Yeah, this is creepy. I don't like that. Will B remember when he came into my life? For me, it's as clear as the moment he left. So clear that our down the downfall of our relationship killed... St oh, my God, one sec. I need some water. Is that blood? blood? There we go. So clear the downfall of our relationship still cuts deep into my heart. Okay, I see. That's, 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 that's uh, blood. My oh, phone's dead. Uh, yeah, in Rosen Peak, life in Rosen Peak was a jar filled with bittersweet candies. Not exactly tasteful, but I learned to enjoy it. Nevertheless, it's where my heart r lies. Wrote a poem in B's memory. He used to struggle with Miss Lasley's poetry classes, even if he didn't have to try that hard. Miss Lasley always told us, Poetry is not about using fancy words. Let your feelings do all the work. Well, this is how I feel. I stand at his doorstep, heart filled with desire. He rushes down the stairs, heart red like fire. Before his, sprint, before his spirit can soar, first he must answer the door. Knock, knock. No, 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 what? Well, I don't think you should. Fix this machine. Hello? What is that? that that's just the wall. Okay. Oh, great. Stacy is a classic. FYI, she's the one who talked crap about my favorite vintage shirt. 
She jumped straight out of a cheesy teen drama. Blonde, hot, always talking, and a cheerleader. She even has a beefy jock for his boyfriend. I didn't even want to start talking shit about someone already, but how could I resist? Every time I get in Stacy's view, I get in Stacy's view, triggered an obvious backbite. I'm seriously starting to think she's under a curse that kills her if she stops talking about someone else. I'm Stacy. I'm pretty. Sadly, coping with her bitchiness wasn't the hardest part of the day. Mom called again. As far as she knows, it's just rainbows and butterflies here in Rosie Peak. I can still remember the complicated face she made when I told her that my application was accepted by Wayright. None of us... Uh, none of us were expecting them to approve a transfer request from an 11th grader. Even if she told me she understands my need to move out of the city... I feel really guilty for leaving her alone, even if it's Dad's fault her family's torn apart like this. You already used up your last runaway chance, Sam. Get your shit together. Not for you, for Mom. Okay. Hey, no. No, no, why is the door open? Behind hi. you. Okay, I'm just gonna... Ha, hi. Oh! Uh... Other way right... The... What? What? The keyhole. Uh, I'll shut down the middle. One sec. Other way, right? Kids were so predictable. And their doors were already open before I even put my hand on the knob. But B's door was closed shut and so beautiful, so beautifully painted. Everyone liked him, but couldn't get him to open up. I knew there was something more behind that pretty point. Pretty, oh my god, that pretty paint, something behind his bright smile. But on the other hand, being able to hang out with him was good enough for me. It was a good enough blessing for me. Enough to make me never want to leave his side. Never, yeah. ever. What the? So, basically we're playing as some psycho chick. What? We're basically playing as someone who's obsessed with <laughs> Oh, we're dead. dead. It's the end of the dialogue. Like in... Still alive. Great, great. This is just great. Whoa. No, 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 no. Okay. No, another note. Great. My first Rosen Peak weekend. As the name itself gives away, this small town fits perfectly as a setting for a mysterious mystery horror genre. Lush forests, endless hills, and a, a lake that I'm certain is hiding a couple of dead bodies. I could pay a visit to that lake one day and take some gorgeous shots. As for now, I'm going to leave these those POI, places of interest, on my to-do list, which is already filled with a crazy amount of homework. And I know why youngsters of Wayright will try their best to get... Um, as far away from school as possible after class to escape from choking on the pressure that teachers give them. Even on weekdays, pretty girls like Stacy will have their boyfriends give them a ride, and others make use of the power of public transportation <laughs> to get the more crowded parts of town. It does feel too quiet with no one left in school, but at least I don't feel as lonely as I was in San Diego. At least I don't have to watch everyone I know turn their faces away like I'm some kind of demon spawn. At least I don't have to be reminded of how fucked up things can be in a single moment. Moving on won't be so easy, but as long as I keep myself busy, it won't be that hard. So, I wonder how I should spend the afternoon. Right later. Love, Sam. B was always pushing his limits. Okay, wait, so is that- is there, like, notes we're finding, like, in the past or something, and this is diary is, like, in the present? Yeah. Okay, uh, B was always pushing his limits. Well, it was more like he always was always being pushed, but he was good at it. That's why he naturally became the best quarterback of the team while maintaining a high high grade for a star player. B was the best quarterback Wayright could ask for. Seeing him running all sweaty on the field always triggered something tingly within me. Hey, yo. Whoa. Something that made me want to catch him behind his back and never let go. Ugh. Oh, yeah. S and B, uh. Sam and Brian, right? Yes. yes. So, like, like the, the main, main character, character a lot. 
She's definitely on the weirder side of the spectrum. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Can I draw? Oh, no. Uh, all sorts of feelings and thoughts were pumped restlessly into my brain with every heartbeat. It gave me a bad headache. A good kind of bad headache. I wanted it to stop. I wanted it to never stop. Hi? But as soon as we gave me the, that hay, all those headaches were washed away. It used to be the best prescription I could ask for. Okay. Whatever. Take the pain away and take away the pain and let only the good things stay. Oh, can't go forward. Okay, what if I? Oh. Oh. I'm sure this is. Oh, another note. Uh, for a boarding school, way way right and intellectuals are not that interested in becoming intelligent. I visited the library for Miss Ladley's book assignment today, and two things surprised me. One, the place was much bigger than the one in my old school. Someone could get lost in here. Two, I had a strong feeling that people rarely visit the library, maybe because they feared being lost in there. The place was too clean. Even the books showed little sign of human touch. I wonder if Stacy's even thinking of picking a book. With her admiring her boyfriend Kyle's tattoo all day, I doubt she has spare time to do that. Uh, she just stares at his tattoo all day. She's just like, ooh, tattoo. Pervert. Uh, <clears throat> is she depending on Kyle to do the reading for her? Seriously? According to what I saw so far, he's either busy reacting to whatever's coming out of Stacy's mouth or working up some shenanigans with his jock buddy. Brian, was it? So, yeah, right. In the meantime, I should be more concerned about myself than the well-being of the whole school. Wait, maybe we're not playing this. Well, if that wait. So if that's the past, then maybe she like she didn't even know who he was then, and now she's like obsessed with him. Or maybe Sam's just like her best friend or something. Maybe I don't know. Let's stop trying to guess so early. We just started the game. <laughs> Call me Matt Pads, uh, Princess. <laughs> Shut up. Open those eyes, no need for words. The sweetest love songs those eyes utters. So turn around and sing. Is that you? Oh, no, that was the game. What would happen if Canino Pet all of a sudden just shows up? Oh my god, what is that? That's a blade. Why is there a stick in there? Can I turn my light on, please? No, I guess only this light works. Great. Oh, I haven't checked my fridge yet. What's in here? Nothing, just beer. Oh, there's some beer. Oh, there's some beer. Oh, there's some beer. Pick there. Jump. I can't. But what's in here? Check in there. Uh, uh, there's nothing in here, I guess. Oh, I can open the bottle. Why'd you grab the stick? I just put it on the desk. Okay, whatever. I guess we'll keep reading. That was creepy. I don't like that. Oh, what was that? I miss him. Even when I'm with him, I see him. Even when he's not looking. Oh, that's sick. September 4th, 2006. I visited the library again. I've been more people than before, and among them was Brian. It was not worth a bother, but seeing a Major Skank's boyfriend Bud, boyfriend's Bud, wandering around in the library is uncanny by anyone's standards. He must have been there to pick uh, the book for Miss Leslie's assignment. I almost got too close to him trying to see what he was going to pick. I really hope he didn't notice that. I'd rather be known as a regular geek than a creepy one. A jock in a library? Now I've seen everything. Woe is me. I hate to admit, but seeing Brian at the library was today's only diary-worthy event. Probably because it's the only human interaction that didn't give me the sensation of talk someone talking behind my back. At least today's entry is a tad more meaningful than what I wrote yesterday. I need to revise my book options now. Right later. Love, Sam. 
Okay. Uh, Wait, wait right? Doesn't, doesn't that mean she's writing to someone? No, that's just her diary thing, I think. Uh. Uh, and one day uh -huh. you'll start looking for me too. And only to realize I was with him the whole time. Like a boogeyman or Oh, the power! What the? Is it back or is it. Hey! Is that a you're gonna have to go under the bed. Give it. <laughs> oh, I can't. I, can I not reach it? Oh, wait, the stick! Get the broom. Stick. Hand grabs it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. What does it say? Let me see. Uh. It was Miss Kane's ninth psychology class, and he still managed to come up with another lame activity. This time, he gave each of us a mask and made us express our personalities by drawing on it. Again, this is this was psychology class. Oh yeah, by the way, this is September seventh. Uh, the last, almost September not. The last, uh, the last thing I want to do right now is open up to others. So far, so far, the next thirty minutes. Oh my, one sec. So far, the next. 30 cringy minutes, I managed to create one of the most basic personality masks one can imagine. If my mask were a cover letter, it would start with, I'm a people person. But it's not the dumb exercise that's bugging me right now. When the masks were being passed away, Brian, yep, him again, kind of smiled at me. It's 11 p.m. now, why am I writing about this? It was most likely an accidental glance, but I still don't know why the very image hovered in my head the rest of the day. The rest of the class. Okay, the rest of the day. Stupid brain probably wants an excuse for screwing up today's math test. Get out of my brain. Oh! Did you see that? Who's under my bed? Who's under my bed? Who's under my bed? Get out of my bed. Check in there, check in there. Is there. Hello. You want to turn the power on in here? Oh, that's better. Close the door or hide in the bathroom. Oh, nothing in here. That's nice. Who's I just oh. feel better about myself. Oh, toothbrush and toilet paper. Nothing in there. I think you can. You bar one got a blade. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hide in here. Oh, I can't close the door in myself. Okay, um, can I open this? Oh, oh close it. Um, guess I keep reading. I only realized I was with him the whole time. Like, okay, yeah, we saw that before. Um, what will be remember me as? A friend? A weirdo? A liar? After all, he didn't really know me. Like, really know me. No one did. I had to put on so many masks just to survive high school. The me that be knew was just layers and layers of fabricated image. I could never take them off. I couldn't let anyone see how vulnerable I was. I would have I would have been eaten alive. Worse, B would have left me completely. Even when the fragile layers wore off, I couldn't take them off. So that's all I did. Cover up the holes before anyone could peek through. Cover them up. Don't let them see my face. Find the lies. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. Um, 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 I don't. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yeah. Stop it. Hi. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, is there what? Is there anything around right here? Shut up. You need to circle the eyes. What is this? Oh. It's a, it's a thing. I, okay, I have one. Um. Uh, in here maybe? Nope, nope. What? Shut up! What the hell is that noise? It's so annoying. Maybe I was too slow. I don't know. Maybe I was just too slow. I don't. 
Okay, 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 get the, get the thing, get the thing. Okay, so... First one was in here. Or maybe you just have to put it on now. Okay, 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 uh, 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 where, where's the next one? Where is it? Uh -huh. Shut up, clock! I cannot focus. I, I'm, I'm freaking out. I think. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's scary. Ah, uh, I died. I'm gonna open everything. Okay, now let's do this again to find it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No, everything's closing! Stop it! Okay, yes, here's one. Okay, put, put it on, put it on, put it on, put it on. Yeah, go away. Okay, one now though. Uh, another one. Where's another one? Please! I really don't want to die! Me neither. Where is it? You tried the pencil, right? Try the, uh, spear? Looking good enough. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I got one. I got one. Give it. Here you, here you go. Right, put, put it on. Put it on. Okay, put it. Put it on. Well, I found the lie. I found the lie. I found the lie. What now? Bathroom, maybe. I already checked the bathroom mold so many times. It's not in there. Find the painting. This stuff has a painting either. Where is it? In the toilet. Dog. Please. You're dead. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. What am I supposed to do? You're being punished for not doing the right thing. <laughs> I've looked everywhere. It's not anywhere. I think you should check under there. Oh my god. Cover them up. No. So, you've tried the fridge, right? Wait, how far can I go back? Give me. Give me. Give you what? I want this. I want this to, you know, to cover it up. If I go all the way back.
Yeah, I feel safe here. I, okay, that was useless. It's not going all the way back. Oh. Oh, what am I supposed to do? I'm so confused. You ever tried a tutorial? The only thing I have is, well, I can only find one sticky note. Where's the rest of them? I'm being chased by a bunch of newborns. Ah! Uh, what do you mean? I died. You in what? What are you doing right now? I'm fighting a bunch of newborns. No, oh my god. Okay. Well, there's no more sticky notes. There's a, literally one sticky note. I have to figure out what to do with this. Make more. I have to I have to do the puzzle with this single sticky note. Nope. You have to cover all the holes with just one. Please. Something. Something. Like, really try to look for it. And when I mean that, did you try, like, uh, even play to that? Oh, this jump scare me. Dude. Okay. I've oh, looked literally dude. everywhere. Where else could it be? Painting? The painting, right? Do I do? Uh, cover them up. Don't let them see my face. Single sticky note. Is there anything else I can do with this? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't let them see my face. I, I covered the mirror. Oh god, no, please. Please don't kill me. I'm sorry. Let me try something. Is this here the whole time? No, they appear in a certain order. Okay, that makes more sense. So, first, I grab this one. Grab it! Second, you grab that one. And you have to find the last one. No, 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 no,
He said he said he couldn't find anything interesting to read since all he could think of were comics. He could use some guidance. My mind was still jumbled up from the ambush. All I remember saying is, how about misery? Stephen King's works are good enough to get you started. Because boys like any story of blood and breaking bones, right? Oh, God. I don't recall how the rest of the conversation went, but I'm certain he said, see you later. And at some point I said, yeah, see you later. Misery. Real nice, Sam. Brian didn't know you were a weirdo. He does now. That, that scared me. That, that, that was, that was intense. That was, uh, very, that was very scary. Okay. But then, like, I, how many times did you die? Like, five, probably, maybe more. What I maybe did. Maybe more than. Shut what I did, I did for B. All of them, because I loved it. Why couldn't he just understand? All others were nothing but poison. I was the only one who truly cared. But B didn't even appreciate the things I've done for him. I never wanted a drama. I wanted a poem-like life. A tender, subtle love story written only for his eyes. It's only fine if no one else gets it, as long as B does. Hope B remembers our own little world. Even if he forgot about it, I made him a map so he can find his way back. I think it's a good time to come back now, B. Let's go back to our small world where all the fair places are forever extra. Fun. Oh. Turns out the lake does have a history of having a dead body in it. I know this because I went there. I went there because Brian took me there. What? It all happened so fast. I was outside the yard reading when Brian appeared out of nowhere again. He said, hey. He started telling me how he actually enjoyed the book. And how he never read the same book twice in his life. And since he was heading out, he offered to, uh, he offered me to give me a tour of the town. And uh, ten minutes later, we were passing Joe's Diner, home of the world famous pancakes, says Brian. There was also an arcade across the diner. Brian hates the place because it's teeming with ten-year-olds. The donut shop. Oh, the, the donut shop is Brian's go is Brian's must-go-to place. Unlike the music store, which according to him seriously needs to stock. I found my own POI. A bookstore. It was weird seeing a bookstore all the way. <coughs> oh my god. And a gym staying side by side though. At the end of the tour, I finally got to taste that sweet pancake Brian worshipped. Out the window, I could see the weird gigantic hill that was also visible from my dorm. Brian revealed that he also had a, that he had a secret base of some kind there. He jokingly said he could take me there when I was cool enough. After dinner, Brian dropped me off at the bus station and drove off to meet up with his friends. I was exhausted but hyped up beyond my limits. I, I can't sleep. How can I when the whole day just feels like a dream? Heart? Oh, oh, what the place he likes. Okay, so he liked, uh... So he liked uh, the donut shop. He liked that. Um, Wait, did you say he liked the donut shop? Yeah. Okay. He also liked. This no, he didn't like the donut shop. No, he did. He didn't like the music store. He didn't like the donut shop because it has ten-year-olds. That was the gate. That was the arcade, dude. Uh, he also liked Joe's diner. Had the best pancakes. He said. And then where's another heart? Oh, there, heart. Okay. And then now it's cold. Oh, the hill. The hill. Ooh, what the? Dead. I miss Morning Dew Donut Shop. B never shut up about its donuts. They did taste sweet, just like B's heart. Each bite was another memory to savor. But just like a donut, it had an expiration date. It turned bitter and cold. I miss its warmth. I miss its sweetness. I need it. I need to eat it up. What? Why can't I? What do you mean? Um... Fridge? Oh, a donut! I miss its warmth. Okay. Heat up the donut, boys! What the? What the heck? Oh! Why you never put metal in the microwave? That was... 
It turned into a heart. No, I have a key. I think it goes to this, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's a woman? And then Sharpie. Okay. Oh, the golems just obliterated the hammerheads today. I now know why they say Brian and Kyle are more than buddies. I would have called them an awesome duo too if only Kyle wasn't an ass loaded douche. <laughs> Uh, I mean the guy has his name tattooed. Okay, that that's just weird. Who tattoos their own name on their arm? Uh, me. No, but that's so weird. No one would do that. Shut up. Anyway, even uh, when she got uh, uh, oh, Brian when they thought he died. I don't know. I don't know what was there. You think you'd be more crazy to get a tattoo of someone's? Uh, a fictional character on your arm than your whole entire name. Call me old fashioned, but I think he needs to go to a hospital and get that ego checked out because it must be swollen huge. At least he leaves me alone other than giving me that creepy stare when I pass by. I understand how Stacy can keep on keep hanging out with him, but Brian? And they do say we sometimes become friends with those who are at opposite ends. So maybe it's not such a weird thing. For me, the real win was the photos I took of Brian. Watch out for Sam Holt, the rising teenage stalker. So our character is a stalker. Mm. <laughs> I know You're I promised myself to stay away from people, stay away from the drama. But when I took a look at Brian, he talks to me. It feels like maybe, just maybe it's okay to have a little drama for myself. I'm not ready to define what this feeling is, but for now, I'm just gonna label it as looking for a shoulder to cry on and just shove it under my bed just like the pictures I took today. Huh? Is there they took photos pictures under of? the bed? No. Okay, let's under the pillow. keep reading. I hated every moment I was not with B. I was helpless. Every day I wanted to call him just so we could chat, but I was afraid of what Brian would think of it. It could even hurt his reputation. When I finally worked up the nerve to call, all I could do was listen to him say hello. That was as far as our late night con uh, phone call shit chat would go. I hung up wondering if he knew who was on the other end of the line. I remember the strong burning sensation that came every time I called him. That red fiery sensation, red. So fucking red. Red everywhere. Sam and Brian, Sam and Brian, Sam and Brian. Uh, what? I can't. Oh, what if I. Uh, what? The deck is that? Blood. Uh, oh? What the? Oh! Oh! What the hell was that? I'm uh, speechless. What the? Finish what you started. Um. You don't have to do all of that. Oh, here's another one. Close it. What the heck's out there? There's a person! Is that Sam? Mm -hmm. That's right. Finish right. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Dead. <gasps> Holy shit. What the fuck? Where are we now, bro? This game's actually so scary. Yeah, it is. Where are you? The woods, I guess. Oh, is this the place we saw at our window? Is this Colton Hill? Oh, there's a note.
Bro, what the? Say, so, yeah, I made me at Colton Hill. You know where to find me, Brian. What the? What the? Oh, oh, oh no! No, I don't like that. No. This game is actually so freaking scary. I'm actually about to piss myself, dog. <sighs> September 28, 2006. <coughs> one sec. <coughs> Book equals A plus. Here, can you read this one? You want me to read it? Yeah, my throat kind of hurts. I need a minute. Uh... Due date for Miss Lacey's book report Here, does this is help? oh wait what? Does Where? this help? Yes. It's right around the corner, and I'm still not finished. If only I wasn't too disturbed. Normally, I wouldn't bother reading a teen romance story, but for some reason, I thought, hey, why not? The premise for Mingled itself is pretty generic. Jenny has a huge crush on her childhood friend Michael, but she can't get Michael to think of her as more than just friends. She reaches a conclusion that is because of those girls around him, so she starts making a list of the basic girls who have a crush on Michael. What she's planning to do with her list is yet to be revealed. If I can finish reading the book by tomorrow, I'll finish the report with enough time for a revise. P.S. I wonder how Brian is doing with his assignments. Why am I interested? Because he's asking for my help with some of his works, and I gladly agree to. Why would I do that? Because helping Brian focus on his practices so he can bring trophies to our beloved school. It becomes safe to say I'm taking part in a bigger call. Not because I, I like doing this for personal reasons. Right? <coughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Ugh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's see what this is. I wanted... I wanted so bad to be close to Brian, so close to people. Uh, I'm beautiful ahead. Hello? Well, there's someone outside. I'm, I'm actually, bro, I'm actually really scared right now. Why? Th this game is so creepy. Oh, another person. I suppose it just tell me desires you. Say the same don't leave me, don't go away, don't smell for others. Don't look away, 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 don't look away. What? Yo. Oh! Oh! No, don't look away! It said 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 don't look away! Please! I don't think you can look away. Stop it! It's pulling my head! Stop! Stop it! Congratulations. Read this. Read Please read this. Uh, uh, Stacy invited everyone to the late uh, post victory party at her place this Friday. Weird that she told me this at the hallway herself. The sudden act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen. But to think of it, it's a self-conscious beauty queen like Stacy would love showing off how tolerant she could be. I prefer celebrating quietly in my room, but since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would be sort of rude for me not to be there. He was nothing but nice to me since I met him. So the least I could do is show up. Plus, I could probably witness the face Stacy makes when she sees I share the nerve to show up. 
maybe, just maybe I could even piss her off if I managed to start a conversation with Brian. And Omega hanging out with the Alpha. Kyle will be busy confronting no, Stacy. <laughs> comforting Stacy, fuming about how I messed up her ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam. Just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my god, do you remember that needle mouse thing from like a, all that time ago? Oh, yeah. It does remind you of that. A girl goes to a party, just hate things she's hanging out with friends, and then they accidentally end up killing her, you know? Yeah. Okay, well, that was... I had... Bro, that... I just had 15 jump scares in a row. I'm pretty sure my heart just stopped. Looking into closed eyes, I could never know... Oh, how about you read the notes, and I read the diary, okay? That way it's fair. No. Oh, okay. Uh, like staring at closed eyes, should never know if he knew I was looking at him. Did he even knew? Did he even know I was there? Maybe he knew, but simply didn't care. The only thing looking back is my decaying sanity. I wanted to look away so much, but what's the point when the stench is still there? I started to think that the only way to get V's attention was to throw myself off Colton Hill. How did I come so low? All I wanted was a chance to show how I feel about V without any noise getting in the way. No matter what happens next, it would at least give me some sort of closure and peace. And Brian was super likable. Everyone liked everything about him. They couldn't stop smiling when Brian started talking. They made me want to puke. Or smile. They smiled as if their relationships with Brian mean anything. And yet I was the only one left with a broken heart when he left Frozen Peak. B was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. B needed to be a fucking model student. No, a fucking model student. Nothing says, pick me to college admission like a spotless student record. He can't just shake out my whole worldly- what? what? Hey, what the- Stop it! The needles? Why is there needles in here? Stop it! Stop, ah! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop, 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 stop. I can tap so fast! this uh, you can read this sorry I'll read it uh, uh, the girl of wait suicide suspected in death of missing teenager the girl of 17 was found dead in at Colton Hill likely ended her own life police says Sam Holt a transfer student of Way right Academy had been reported missing for six days until Rosen Peak authorities discovered her body in the forest. Due to days of heavy rain around the time of her death, investigating on Miss Holt's death faced new challenges, few challenges. However, interviews with school faculty members and its students led to the possibility that she threw herself off the cliff of Colton Hill after months of rejection from her peers. She was rarely seen with others, says one of her former teachers. She was even publicly humiliated just before her disappearance. It must have worked as the tipping point for her. Rosen Peak Police says the fall did not kill Sam instantly. Ooh. It's possible she gasped for air through her broken neck before dying. Uh, Way right. Academy now faces suspicion of neglecting its students, led by the mother of Miss Holt. That, that's just, that's so messed up. So we're dead. Or maybe this is taking place like before we died. I hear ya. Stewie. Uh, oh man, everything has gone wrong. All my senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. The only pain only escalated the moment. Text me, are you feeling okay? No, I was not okay. Why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from quiet to crazy, happy, and cute. His words, not mine, real quick. I was so close to being 
the center of the party that he had to bring me back to the dorm. Why can't I remember any of them? Congrats, Sam. You reached a new low in life. Shit, is this it? Is this how I die? Sincerely, I, I sincerely asked Brian if there was a good place to kill myself. He said, maybe it's a good time to show you my secret hideout. Since I passed the test by showing the school a different me. Is he seriously going to take me to a Colton Hill hideout tomorrow? I'm going to the so-called romantic place of Rosen Creek with Brian. There's something in my head that's keeping me awake, and it's not a hangover. Okay. So she Wait. obviously is starting to like Brian. What the? Does that mean we killed ourselves? Hello. What was that? Turn. Hello? Turn. Hello. Turn. Turn. You idiot! Did you not see that? Oh, what the? Is that a bathroom? Why are you peeking into the bathroom? What the? I'm back here again. Did you not see that person standing in the room? No. I could have sworn I saw someone with a red jacket just like standing there. Oh, great. Wait. Is that Sam? Is that you? Oh. Oh, oh, she, oh she's gone. I'm going to jump. We're going to get pushed by you, uh, Brian. Was that Brian or was that us? I don't know. I don't know. This is actually scaring me so bad. Oh my god. Oh great. And we go ahead. I got you. Oh my god. Brian actually took me to Colton Hill. The hideout Brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town, the whole place under a the golden sunset. The best part of this spot was that it was quite hidden and unsafe. You could easily roll down the hill if you're careless or drunk. How is that a and good no one part find of you it? for days. How awesome is that? Our character's definitely suicidal. Uh, being drunk with that wonderful moment didn't cause any accident. We sat there for less than an hour, but it felt like an eternity. I can't even remember what we talked about. I do remember saying how beautiful Rosen Peak is, and Brian was like, all being all meh about it. I guess you could get fed up with wheels like this too. Today's only regret was I failed to bring the true essence of the hills back with me. There is a reason why I gave up photography as a hobby in the first place. At least the close-up shot of Brian was not half as bad. I when I came him, back bro. down the hill, huh? Wait, 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 wait. That shot we were peeking through into the bathroom. Was she like, is she taking photos of him? Hopefully not. She's weird, bro. Wait, wait she, she gave up for, for, for photography. Photography. Yeah. I just finished reading, finished reading uh, it. When I came back from down from the hill, it became clear that my life had just become a little bit more messed up now. I know because I really want to talk to Brian again soon. Help me get to sleep quickly. Help me get to sleep quickly today. Diary, love, Sam. Ugh. Brian's Organs. Brian's secret hideout. A closed, uh, closed Colton Hill hiking route discovered by himself so he can hide from the world around him. Not a flashy place, but it has a great view. All of life's problems, Colton Hill, or sanctuary. Which could be our special place. Ours and ours only. Colton Hill is nothing but a po rock pile of blood-soaked memories now. Why did he have to break my fucking heart? Was I just one of his many friends? Maybe that's it. And that's why he wanted to leave even after I told him we won't be together anymore. I thought he was too good for us and Peek and me. To me, I was nothing. I was just a background in his picture. What? Whoa! What? What? What is that noise? K. 
camera? What? You don't deserve a face? Appreciate. Oh, no. The book reporter's finished. Oh, that's you. Sorry. Oh, what the? Yeah, no. What the hell? Where's the thing? I can't. I'm stuck looking at it. Okay. Uh. What the fuck? Oh! I took a picture of you. What's happening? Wait, do you have the camera or, or someone can take for you? What the I hate this. I actually hate this. Do you gotta get back to your desk with with, with the camera? Okay, there. Read, read. All right, I got you. We, the book report was finished days ago, but I can't stop thinking about mingled. Well, it's because my stupid brain thinks I'm sort of like the main character, Jenny. To summarize the rest of the book, Jenny goes on a jealous fueled. Sabotage rampage on every girl who has a crush on Michael. I know it sounds horrible without context, but it's actually kind of cute. What? She finally stands on top of Michael, finds out what she's done. He breaks Jenny's heart by saying he can't be sure of who she is anymore. That's a pretty Things fair reaction, in, I think. That's not why I sympathize with the dorky psycho girl. Fine, it's just like Michael. Popular, has killer biceps, busy hanging around with people. I can't see why he wants be because of all the knowledge around him. I know he wants to go to college, but what about beyond the boring stuff? What kind of person does he want to be like? What does he think about me? He does. He told me uh, about his mom after that cancer last year. Must have been so hard. Trying to look okay in front of everyone. Aw, poor bro. Who's, the, who's depending on him? I sometimes feel like he can't see me because he's busy trying to meet everyone's expectations. I know how those around, him can, around us can be hurtful and it's dangerous to rely on them so much. I wish I could just tell Brian one day that I'm here for him. I, this game actually is so fucking scary. I'm... <sighs> okay. Brian got what he wanted in the end. He left Rosen Peak as soon as he was given the chance. As for me, I was left to suffocate in the hole of tainted memories until I drowned in my own endless nightmare. Don't leave me! Ugh. Every day was- every night I'm surrounded by whispers. Whispers that lie. Whispers that eat away my brain piece by piece. No matter how hard I tried to. Oh god. I hear them again. What? There's, are you in a healthy relationship? Take this- Quick survey to find out. Okay. One must take well, it when someone gives, no. Obsession is a stronger form of love, no. No one can have what you can't, no. B never loved you, no. Cause you're a selfish little shit, no. All your problems were caused by you, no. It's all your fault, no. Results are in. It looks like you still have your eyes closed shut. Then keep them shut. How long will you last this time? Mm. No. What? Hello? Who's the breathing again? It's getting worse. This fucking shithole town left disgusting crack on my heart. Uh, your turn. Alright, I got you. I got you, bud. Miss Lazy gave us an easy poetry assignment for... for once. She said it's okay to make a parody of the classics as long as we stick to the A, B, C, B rhyme. So I took the liberty of letting my imagination go a, B, C, B, Berserk. Mm, here's a slight taste of my early work. A, B, C, Berserk. Oh. 
Yeah. Roses are red, violets are blue. My life would have sucked if it wasn't for you. That's a, that's I could have waited cool. for Brian to ask help with my assignment again. But I decided to make a first move this time. And guess what? He said he can handle it alone. Call me paranoid, but I'm worried I might have hurt Brian's pride. That's what happens when Sam opens her idiot mouth or uses her idiot brain. P.S. I decided to carry my diary in my bag. The doors in the girls' dorm game wait way too easy to open not as easy as Stacy though if you know what I mean hey yo <laughs> what do you mean I even that? saw one <laughs> I even saw one of the girls using a notepad to crack her door open besides I have this uh, weird hunch someone's been reading my diary I've decided not to ignore this hunch okay Hey, it was me. And it's, it's us, technically. I mean, you're not wrong. It's getting bigger and bigger. The voices I hear from the crack are getting louder and louder. I see more and more eyes staring at me through the gap. When I run out of places to run, I only have one solution. My memories just scatter all over the place in the dark. I must look for them in the dark. No, stop. Yes, I don't. No, please. Please. Oh, my. No. It's going to be use the camera. I don't want to use the camera. Hello? Hello? What did that say? I don't know what that said. <laughs> oh. They keep me oh, so warm. What is that? I can't read this. <laughs> Ooh, what the? Like endless sun rays. I cherish your smile. I saw that one. <laughs> I cherish your smile. <laughs> I indulge your kid. Oh, look at these pictures. Oh. They are creepy pictures! What is- Ew! Look at what's in the bathroom! We are taking pictures of this man. Oh, okay, so this is a poem. It's the A, B, C, B. Alright. I, I, cher I cherish your smile. I indulge your gaze. They keep me so warm. Like endless sun rays. Oh. Hey, I did it. That was easy. You gonna read? Yes. Are you are you paying Better. attention? Yeah. Okay. But I can't read this. Press the button to make it bigger. Alright, thank you, thank you. With Brian preparing for a rematch with uh Hammerheads, I once again gladly gave him a hand with the non important Homework stuff, I must say the teachers here don't give their poor students a break just because the test is over. It's not like I'm 100 with burning with helping out, but Brian is really trying hard to get good grades. From what I heard, he doesn't uh, have to worry too much about going to college. He's practically a local football star. Maybe his pushy police chief dad raised him to be an overachiever. It's funny how a model athlete like Brian got friends like Kyle who's always finding excuses to pull him out of school. It's unfair, really. As long as you are a sports star, you'll end up with douches like him no matter how nice of a person you are. I don't speak with Kyle much, but I don't need to conversation to know what he's like. First of all, his girlfriend is freaking Stacy Langings. The stare he gives me when I pass by is enough to creep me out for the whole day. It would be lucky if Stacy didn't come along and start yapping about Brian is out of my league. She has Kyle to play with, so why would she even care? Like, ask your boyfriend out for a driver. Please have a nicer life with him so Brian can stay out of the poison he does not deserve. Okay. Uh, hey. Stop. Oh. Please, not again. I No, please, stop. Did you get hurt? What? What do you want? 
Oh, I can see again. What? Hello? What? No. Oh. What the fuck? What the hell is that? <laughs> Character is definitely something. Grand Heart College, give me your potential or mission. Take the next step, apply now. The fuck are you smiling at? Take a picture of that. <laughs> what the? Uh, what? <laughs> what the fuck? 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 What the Press it. Do it. This is so gross. This is so gross. What the? Hey, no, stop it. Give me that. Stop it. Stop it. Give it. What are you doing? Hey. Run. It's my. Can your character even run or no? No. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck's sake. That scared me so bad. Same. Okay. There it is, there it is. There's, 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 I think I just have to keep running. I think I just have to keep running. I can't stop. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to stop. Just like keep running. Keep running, keep taking photos of it. I think that's it. <laughs> Oh! 
Bro, what is happening? What is this? What is this game? Can I read this, that? Uh, Can I read that letter you yanked from me, please? Thank you. I I you. All right, all right, I got you. I got you. Put on the thing so I can see it better. All right. There was a consulting session for the Green Heart College Students Program at the gym today. I've seen its posters all over the school since the day I arrived. I have nothing better to do, so I decided to give it a visit and spend my precious time after school. After school time, reading brochures. And once again, it's not just like at the library. I was surprised to see Brian there. He was an early decision program booth. I wanted to talk to him, but instead I ran from my room, jumped onto my bed, and out of nowhere, serious hard to drop. Wait, what? One sec, one sec, my bed one sec. Was what? I didn't finish reading. I know, I know, but... What hearts? When did we see the hearts? Or whatever. Thing. Yep. I saw those hearts again. Now they were on the gym walls too. At first I thought whoever drew them must be insecure about the relationship, but the truth is I wish I had a relationship to be insecure about too. Deep down, I know I want my own hearts on the wall too. But seeing Brian at the college booth felt like finally getting punched by reality. I have no idea what I'll be doing in a couple of years. Thought about staying here at Rosen Peak, but with Brian preparing to leave, there's just no point to it. No Brian, no hearts on the walls. God, it's like my brain's creating a store, but I feel like I'm just going to lie down for a bit. Hopefully I'll wake up next week. Okay. Wake up without Ray. I wake up without waking up. Same rainy night, my lifeless room, endless nightmare. My life is nothing but a repetition of waking up with nothing to live for. Not even a false hope to look forward to this time. A long, a long time ago, when I finally got to accept my feelings for Brian, I thought everything was going to change. But at the end of the day, it was just like every day. He was still a school star. I was still just his friend. When you live in Rosen Peak, people expect things to stay the same. If anything happened to us, it could ruin the a Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this still Sam? Yeah. I I, I don't think. I don't feel like it is. Why not? Cuz it says if 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 anything changed between us, it could ruin Brian's relationship. Why would it why would it why would it ruin his relationship if it was Sam? You see what I mean? Yeah, but maybe he's in a relationship. It could be like friendship. Maybe. Well, that's how it went. Nothing changed. My whole world burned. I kept telling myself, maybe after graduation, I'll be able to express my feelings for him. I let the fire in my heart eat through this, my soul and my body. I called myself a coward. But I chose to keep a little I had to enjoy. I was a poor kid crawled up in bed. Poor? Do I really deserve that charity title? Am I really the victim of all this? Who was here to judge me anyway? It's all over. Everyone left me. Why do I feel like I'm being chased? Like someone's always watching me. Like someone's trying to judge me. Stacy. So, I mean, someone's always calling you. Like it's an unknown number. How did the invite Daddy. go? She in or not? Oh, she's coming. Dorks like her can't say no to parties like this. Sweet. Time to give her the drama she wants so bad. Wait, we're typing this. We cannot, we can't be Sam, right? We right. cannot be Sam. Yeah, the, we're calling, if we're calling ourselves a dork, yeah. It's because of her. The moment she came into, the, okay, wait. Wait a minute. Are we it's playing a, as Kyle and he has, he's like secretly gay for like Brian? I mean, it would make sense, right? Yeah. Okay. He's extremely gay. The moment she came into our lives, what little I had to start to enjoy started to crumble. Wait, maybe we're playing as Stacy? Uh, I know I used half of the diary writing about Stacy being a bitch, but now she's just unstable. 
I wasn't even past the first class when I saw arguing like crazy with Kyle. Heard her shouting something like, I'm done We're doing this shit for you before storming away. And then she saw me like I was her next target. She strutted towards me and said, this is all your fault. Why don't you go back to fucking San Diego? Well, what did I do? She was off before I could even open my mouth. Turn to call for answers, but he was gone. Ew. Don't to think of it, I rarely saw them hanging out recently, but I didn't know things were this intense. Brian's been acting weird too, though. He hasn't talked to me much recently. He even looks somewhat more upset than usual. I finally tried to talk to him to ask uh, what was wrong, but he cut me short by asking if I called him last night. All I could give was a blank face until Brian said, never mind, and walked away. What was that about? What does he mean by again? Calling him in the middle of the night for no reason is something I've dreamed of. But it doesn't mean I actually did it. What the okay. hell is going on? Okay. Are we getting possessed by a demon? No, bro. I, I have a feeling that the Kyle... Kyle's the obsessed one. So... We're playing as Kyle? I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's not, let's not try to guess right now. We don't want to ruin the story. Yeah. Whoa, look! There's syringes! We should use one. Uh, only bad things, only bad changes happen in my life. No matter how hard I try to protect it. A city girl just asking to become an outsider. That's all she was to me. Hell, that's all she was to everyone else. But then, I saw them talking at the library. I couldn't see clearly, but I could tell what was going on. He was making her smile. It was another smile taunting my feelings for B. No one would ever know what kind of emotions I was hit with at that moment. I, a change was happening, and I didn't like it at all. Stacy didn't like it either, and she could never stand letting an easy social prey slip away from her. Naturally, Stacy took a peek into her diary one day. She took pictures of some of the entries and sent them to me and her gang. She wanted everyone to join her twisted and childish game. We're playing as... Bummer. Was hoping to do nasty stuff to her drunk guy. Ew, bro, oh. this is so oh. messed up. Still wait, can't believe Brian wait. had to take her away like that. Well, bitches like Sam, no, bitches like Sam does tend to make some people feel sorry. She did mention something about her dad in her diary. Bet she has nasty daddy issues too. I know. How about we? Sh how about we show everyone how needy a bitch can be? Hmm, sounds fun. But how? Leave it to me. Just keep oh. reading her diary once in a while. We're playing as the guy. We're playing as a guy or some other girl. <gasps> oh. We're definitely playing. Mm. <gasps> no, 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 no. This can't be happening. No, 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 no. <gasps> Did you see that? Put the thing up, please. What the fuck is going on? I don't even know how to describe what happened this morning. This is fucked up. My hands are shaking again. It started when I op opened my locker and heard some and something poured out. For a few seconds, my brain was cut off to whatever was happening. I finally looked down and saw dozens of pictures scattered on the hallway floor. Oh All of them were. Kyle wasn't taking those Tabor. pictures for him. He was taking them to frame Sam. Ugh. Oh, God. The whole school was at the hall. Then they looked at me. They looked at the pictures, then at me, then at the pictures. Brian was there, too. The face he gave me, the face of disgust. He turned away and left. <laughs> He didn't even say anything. I tried to chase him, say something, anything to him. But before 
was started spinning and people started whispering like they knew what was going on. They soon began to other than began to choke my throat. I swept away what was on the floor and ran off to class. Of course, Stacy must have had something to do with this. I looked for her, but she was nowhere to be found. The rest of the day was about nothing but avoiding eye contact with anyone. You have to read the bottom line. I can't sleep. Ryan's not answering any of my texts. There's no one to talk to. Wait. Poor Sam. So, wait. So, does that mean the character we're playing as and Stacy basically forced Sam to homic- suicide? Oh, that's so messed up. B, 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 B kept saying nothing was going on between them. Lies, lies. How could you lies, lies? How could you? But I wasn't about to believe everything was just fine. Ugh! Oh! In my eyes, that's actually a really cool drawing, though. It's, like, really creepy looking, but it's kind of cool. In my eyes, Sam was using Brian to fill her sad, empty life. I couldn't let that happen. She wanted drama she didn't deserve. She deserved shit. She didn't get to barge in and always and start stealing the life I've only dreamed of. Stacy kept doing what she does best, digging into other secrets. She sent pictures of the little shit's diary pages to me. That's how I found out about their little trip to Colton Hill. It was our hideout since the la- first year of high school, and her presence turned it into fucking nothing. How could be do this to us? The only way to break them apart is to show Brian what a creep she was. Mm. What the- Did you see that? I saw that. What, what was that? So, we're playing as Kyle, I think. I kept reading the disgusting words she wrote in her diary. Blech. At the same time, I felt something. A reminder of how I felt when I fell for B. How it felt so right and terribly wrong. Screaming into my pillow never helped with making the feelings go away. Oh, so he he was gay for Brian, but he hated that he was gay. And so he's trying to, like, ruin, uh, uh, freaking Sam's life because she got the uh, life he, he always wanted. Oh... This so wait, wait, you're so telling me not to follow the story, and here you are. This game is so cool, bro. Very messed up, though. Yeah. Oh, great. Did you find the diary Sorry, yet? Sorry, pick your day. Babe, I think you're taking this too seriously. Yeah, we are, Kyle. We are. Did you find it or not? She, I think she knows I'm sneaking into her room. I can't find it anywhere. Babe, don't you think you're too obsessed with breaking them up? You're bailing on me now? Forget it. Please, babe. Maybe Brian doesn't even like the girl. I said forget it. So tired, so tired, so tired, so tired, so tired, so tired, so tired. The school counselor called me today. Mr. Ferns was asking me if the rumors are true rumors that I have been leaving art drawings all over the school rumors that I've been talking to Brian. At this point, the whole school must be out of its mind. I don't even know what the letters in the hearts spell out stamp S and B and what. Just because their initials are B, S and B, suddenly. Every name starts with either Sam or Brian. And, and guess what? Even cra- crazier words are the streets. Sam Holtz, the daughter of the sex offender, craves forbidden love. How on earth did Stacy find about out about my dad? Why did she do so much to fuck up my life? And where the fuck is she? Is she, you know, what? I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for Brian to listen to me. I'm tired for looking words to describe this fucked up situation. Can't believe I have to go through this so far from home and so soon. Brian, please, please say something. Oh, oh God, this is so messed up. 
then I remembered. She wrote something about her dad. It must have had something to do with her existence in my life. I started digging. It wasn't even a challenge. Keith Holt arrested for sexually assaulting a teenager. It was beautiful. I found the perfect oh, ending. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. So her dad was a sex offender. Oh, God. All I had to do next was fill in the rest of the story. Sam Holt calls... Oh. How does Sam's dad even get married? He likes little girls, doesn't he? Maybe Sam's mom used to be the pervert's victim. Sam Holt calls Brian from a payphone in the middle of the night and silently listens to his voice. Sam Holt takes Brian's picture and keeps them hidden in her locker. That Sam, gr that Sam girl's got some balls. Everyone talking about her pervy dad and she's still showing up to class? Respect. I'm Fonzie. Sam Holt draws hearts all over the school that others know Brian's hers. Oh my god, how could Sam Holt not kill herself? My dad went on the news for touching teens. That's bye-bye world for me, lol. A needy silly girl with a huge hole to fill. A hole left by her sweet old daddy. She was just a disaster waiting to happen. No one, no one, not even Brian could think otherwise. I made all the preparations while Stacy spread the spread the rumors I created. It wasn't easy. I almost got ta caught taking a picture of Brian using the restroom. Oh, this guy's pretty gay. But I kept going. Every picture I took was a love confession I could never make. Every heart I drew was my sacrifice for him. When enough suspicion piled up on Sam, I stuffed all the pictures I took into her locker. It was a happy coincidence that B was there to see the spectacular unfold when it the spectacle unfold when it happened. It was over. Things were about to return back to normal. And then Stacy's drama filled head exploded. What? What am I Whoa! She's dead? Oh Hi coward. Okay, yep, yep, yep. What do I do? Okay, I hide. I, I, okay, I hide. Close the door. Bro, what? Where am I supposed to go? Just hide. You can't run forever. Oh wait, maybe you can run forever. Okay, I gotta go over there now. Maybe you'll be able to live again. JK, you're gonna die. Oh, this is Stacy. I'm done watching you get away with this shit you've done to me. Did you really think I wouldn't find out what's going on? I know you've been using me to, to break Sam and Brian apart so you can have some fun with her. Well, I've had my share of, I've had my share of fun when I told Brian what you've been doing. You should have seen his face when he made when I got to the part about you drawing those retarded hearts all over school. Hope you enjoy your happy life now there's no Brian to get in your way. Oh, by the way, I saw you staring at that college poster. What, did you like the girl in the poster too? Is it why you tore her face off? Oh. So Brian, okay, so Kyle hates all the, like, people smiling at him. Because it's like a reminder that he can never have what he really wants. So he was, like, really pissed off that poster. So Brian is extremely gay. Brian, I, I mean, so like, I Brian, kind of so feel bad for Kyle, but this is, this is too messed up. Like, I can't really feel bad for him. I can't feel bad for him either. Uh, you need help. And don't bother calling me, Stacy. Now, we're gonna force Kyle to kill himself? Please, man. Stacy got it all wrong. It's just misunderstanding. It's just a meaningless prank, that's all. Please, B, don't do this. Text me back, please. That that's day, Stacy told side. Brian was the last day he talked to me. He was so angry at me. He would never understand what I did for him. Typical. So fucking typical. Again, I was left alone to suffer. This time, someone had to pay for it. What? Oh. Sam. Sam. 
I know, I understand. Meet me at Cohen. He put the locker. He put the note. He put the. Fi that note was fake. Do you understand what happened? He lured them and shoved her off the cliff. Yeah. Oh my God, Kyle! What is wrong with you? What? What? Oh no! Oh no! Sammy, me at Colton Hill, now. or find me, Brian. Oh, no, 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 no. Run. Sam, no. I'm sorry, Sam. You have to live. You do I mean, deserve not live. this. That, that means Brian and her were just happy, bro. They were just a cute couple. We're gonna have to push her off. Sorry. I'm waiting for someone? Kyle, what are you doing here? You can't just, you can't, you just can't stay away from him, can you? You know you don't deserve him. Oh my God, the stick. Fun fact: If I uh, if I found out that. Oh my God. Girl... Oh God. <laughs> that breathing on the phone. That was her breathing through her broken neck. Oh. oh my God. That was her trying to call for help. We could have helped her. He didn't mean to actually kill her, but... No, don't do it, bro. Time to burn that, too. Notes were her diary. Oh yeah, the notes were the. Oh my God, you're right. The notes were the pages from her diary. It's kind of bad that every time you died, uh, you know, every time you die, the main character dies. Yeah. Uh, technically, every time you die, the main characters deserve it, so... It... It was an accident. I never meant to kill her. Or maybe I did? Did I? Or, but does it matter now? Did any of what I did matter? I left the team after... The team soon after what happened at Colton. After that, the school. From what I've heard, Brian easily got accepted to the college. He left town right after graduation. The fact that he's a star athlete with a notable school record works like a charm. He's been growing the idea of leaving Rosen Peak since his mom died. Living alone with his obnoxious dad didn't help much being, with being attached to his hometown. He kept his plan mostly a secret. He hated the attention he was getting as a star who lost his mom. People found out his plan. They will surely be talking about it too. But he did. But he didn't. But he did have a hint of, oh my god, but he did hint about leaving, and I tried so hard to ignore what it meant for me. 
Even those tr college posters all over the school were laughing at me. They were making fun of my impending doom. They were all saying, Haha, see? You're gonna die alone here. Maybe I knew. He deserves it. Maybe... Maybe I knew. I knew that B took an interest in Sam because she was just a coolest new girl. who was lonely enough to do anything for her and any guy to be nice to her. But Jelly sees a strong creature. It quickly changed my It quickly devoured my mind and soon took control of me. The anchor just... And I just need someone to be mad at other than Brian. Even after he left me, anchor stayed. It still haunts my sleep. Every time I open my eyes, it just gets worse. Again, it's time to wake up. But wake up for what? To be greeted by the fact that I must start running around in circles again? That I must stick needles in my body so I can forget my past for a few fucking minutes? It's just like that story Miss Lally once told us about. The shortest horror story in the world. The last man on earth he heard a knock on the door. I'm alone in my room. I'm alone in this world. There's someone knocking on the door, but I don't I don't know who it is, but I keep the door locked. No one comes in. No one goes out. I'm so tired. I just want it to end. Let's just wake up. Let's just open the door. I don't care who or what's waiting for me. But what about my diary? The one I've been reading to keep... keep I've, the one I've been keeping to remind myself of how I'm the victim of everything that's happened. I don't know where I would do without it. What will keep me from going insane? So here comes the big question. Should I keep it? No. No. Burn that shit to the ground. No. It's time to admit. I've been keeping a memory of lies. I'm the only one to blame for the shit I had to deal with. It's about time I burned it. But what after that? I could open the door out of here, face whatever's waiting for me. Or I could just stay with the fire and let go. Whatever's the choice, it's time to light the fire. Come on. Whoa! Oh, frick! Okay, no, 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 I, I, Kyle, you did a messed up thing, but I'm not gonna let you die. Sam! Sam, help. Uh. Wait, is that you moving? Yeah. I say let him die. Let him die. No. Let him die. Let him shrivel up and come on now. No. You did I a mean, bunch of bad shit. You're trying to let him live. He needs to tell the police what happened. They're gonna arrest his ass. Yes, but it might give him closure. Let's see. Sure, you're too late. The you death can't... of Sam Hull initially reported as a suicide shed a new light by her former classmate. Kyle Jenkins confessed that he was with Miss Holt when she fell to her death. According to the shocking revelation, the 14-year-old 14, the 14 student from San Diego was involved in a heat, heated confrontation with Mr. Jenkins due to... Due to what? Oh, that was it? Due to an obsession for Sam... Well, like Kyle, Kyle turned himself in. Uh, I'm pretty sure he preferred dying. Well, now everyone at least knows what happened to him. I mean, at least everyone knows what happened to Sam. Whoa, dude, that that game was crazy. I was messed up. That was such a good game. <laughs> I still should have let him die though. I have no words, that... Okay, um... That does it for this episode, guys. See ya. Bye.